Now, your news on the go. Two 17-year-olds are now recovering after they were shot at Western Lights Plaza. This happened on Saturday night. Police were called to the Price Chopper on Onondaga Boulevard where they found the teens in the parking lot. One was shot in the chest, the other in the leg. Both 17-year-olds had surgery. Now, we don't know their exact conditions, but we are told they are stable. The Oswego County couple arrested in their son's death are expected back in court today. Lisa and Anthony Waldron both face charges in Jordan Brooks' death. He died last May, but investigations since have been revealing disturbing details of neglect and malnutrition. The couple is expected to appear in the town of Palermo Court later today. There's no agreement on the state budget yet. The deadline was Friday. Now the earliest it can pass is today. Local lawmakers met virtually over the weekend, expressing frustrations over what's holding up the budget, including the $600 million plan to build a new football stadium for the Buffalo Bills. Central New York's COVID cases are well above the state average right now. Both the CDC and New York State are recommending you go back to masking up inside in Onondaga, Oswego, and Cayuga counties. They are all right now considered high COVID transmission zones. Today, you can get an at-home test kit and KN95 mask starting at 930. If you live in Onondaga County, you can go to the orange lot at the fairgrounds. Two kits are allowed per car and masks will be handed out until noon or until supplies run out. County officials Officials are asking that you don't get there before 930. City of Oswego is collecting medical and essential supplies for those in Ukraine. Beginning today through Friday, April 15th, you can find drop-off bins on the first floor of City Hall from 9 to 5. The city is accepting different essential items, so first aid kits, diapers, hand sanitizer, anything like that. It was upset Central over the weekend in the NCAA basketball tournament. South Carolina handing UConn women's basketball head coach Gino Auriemma his first loss. Listen to this, in 12 NCAA title games, the Huskies lost 64-49. to Last year, South Carolina lost the final four at the buzzer.